Hey guys, welcome to Differentiation Week 1 Review. So in this video, um, what I'd like to do is the following six questions. So if you want, you can actually pause the video here and try these questions first. Um, and then I'll actually go through the answers for each one of them. Okay, so I'm assuming you've actually paused and tried some of these questions. Okay, I'll start going through the questions in the next slide, folks. All right, so for question A, we've got y equals x cubed minus pi over x. Um, the most common mistake people do is um, they actually write this up as cancel the x and x cubed, and they write this as x squared minus pi. And if you were to do this, you are completely incorrect. Okay, what you, do, what you need to do is you need to separate the x so that you have x cubed over x minus pi over x. And then we can write this as y equals to x squared minus pi. But because x is in the denominator, we bring it to the numerator as x to the power of negative 1. Now you can differentiate this. So x, differentiation of x squared is 2x. Uh, and then here you're going to get minus pi multiplied by negative 1, x to the power of minus 1 minus 1. So the differentiation of this is going to be 2x plus pi x to the power of negative 2. And simplifying it further, we're going to get 2x plus pi over x squared. That's how you do number 1a. Sorry, a, yeah. With b, uh, you've got to get rid of the, the square, third symbol. So we're going to write this as pi minus x cubed to the power of a quarter. So from here, differentiating it, we're going to get 1 quarter pi minus x cubed to the power of a quarter minus 1 multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's inside the bracket here, which in this case is negative 3x squared. So what we get is y dash is equal to negative 3x squared pi minus x cubed to the power of negative 3 quarters, and the whole thing divided by 4. Now, again, do one more step in terms of uh, simplifying it. So we can write it as negative 3x squared over 4 pi minus x cubed to the power of 3 quarters. Nope, my mistake. You can actually write it one more step, which is negative 3x squared 4 and then the fourth root of pi minus x cubed to the power of 3. Um, as for what you can actually stop at in terms of your exams, are, I think you pretty much you can stop here. You know, the simplification is just good for you guys to practice your algebraic skills. All right, let's do question C. Now, with question C, you can actually expand it if you want. But I don't know why you would do that, because you know you can use the chain rule for this. So using the chain rule, we're going to get y dash is equal to 3 times 4x squared minus 2 to the power of 2, because you have 3 minus 1. And then multiplied by the differentiation of whatever is inside the bracket. In this case, it's going to be 8x. And that's it. You are done. So you can rewrite this one more time if you want as... 24x and 4x squared minus 2 to the power of 2. Now, you could do it in a substitution way. If you are keen to know how to do it substitution way, you, um, oh, I'm going to show you anyway. So what we're going to do is, um, but we're going to use the Leibniz notation. So that's dy dx. So what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, u equals 4x squared minus 2 which means du dx equals 8x. Now, if u equals 4x squared minus 2, then we can say y equals u cubed. So dy du equals 3u squared. Now, if you want to work out dy dx, you can put dy dx is equal to dy du with respect to du dx. And it's a matter of substituting. So you got 3u squared 
multiplied by 8x. Now because u is equal to 4x squared minus 2 multiplied by 8x and what you'll notice is you're basically getting the same answer as these two lines here. All right, next questions. We have question D and we're doing exponential uh, differentiation. So in this case, we've got y dash is equal to 6e negative pi x. So if you remember with exponential uh, differentiation, you write everything as it is, and then you multiply it by the differentiation of whatever the power is. So in this case, the differentiation of negative pi x is gonna be negative pi. And that's basically it. So your answer is equal to negative 6 pi e to the power of negative pi x. And looking at e, so with e we've got y equals ln 3x squared minus pi, which means the differentiation of that is going to be 1 over 3x squared minus pi multiplied by the differentiation of whatever's inside the bracket. So in this case it's going to be 6x. And that's us done. So the answer for this case, in this case, is 6x divided by 3x squared minus pi. All right, and the last question. So with this one, there's two ways of doing this. Um, you can actually use the, you know, the normal log rule and then use the chain rule on top of that. But the easiest way to do it is to apply the log, log rules. So in this case, y could be written as 3 ln of 2x squared minus e to the power of x. And then differentiating it, we're going to get 3 over 2x squared minus e of x multiplied by the differentiation of whatever is inside the bracket. So differentiation of 2x squared is 4x and differentiation of e x is just ex and so your final answer is going to be 3 4x minus ex and the whole thing divided by 2x squared minus e to the power of x so what i was talking about earlier was actually doing this through chain rule and if you were to do it through chain rule where you don't actually get rid of the three in front of the logs then you would get something like this, where y dash is equal to 1 over 2x squared minus e of x to the power of 3 multiplied by, now we got to differentiate this entire thing. And to differentiate that, we've got to use the chain rule. So what's end up, what you're going to have is 3 multiplied by 2x squared minus e of x to the power of 2 multiplied by the differentiation of this which in this case is going to be 4x minus e of x so what you'll notice is you've actually got 3 times 4x minus e of x multiplied by 2x squared minus e of x to the power of 2 divided by 2x squared minus e of x to the power of 3 but because you've got two common variables here, so this cancels out and that cancels out, and what you're left over with is 3 times 4x minus e of x, and in the denominator, you have 2x squared minus e of x. So as you can see, you get the same two answers, either way you do it, but you know, it's just knowing when to apply your log rules um, so you can actually make things easy for yourself. All right, that's basically it for this session, folks. Thank you for watching.